In today's video, we're finally opening up Rush Duel Cards. What's up, guys? We are back with another epic opening, and in this one, I'm super excited because I've really liked Rush Duel on Duel Links when I've played it a little bit over there, and I thought it was super fun. And we don't have it in the TCG yet, so thanks to Yugi Market, I finally got the opportunity to open up some Rush Duel, and not only just Rush Duel, but it has a new Dark Magician Girl inside. So this should be a super fun opening. It's a new set. It's called Over Rush Packs or Over Rush 2 or whatever. Very exciting. We don't yet have Rush Duel in the TCG. I'm hoping that eventually we will get it. Based on how Speed Duel went last time, how they kind of basically said that was the last Speed Duel set, the last one we opened, I'm expecting that Rush Rush Duel does show up in the TCG at some point, which would be super fun because Rush Duel is super like, I don't know, it's very uh, beginner friendly. You can kind of just summon a bunch of cards, draw a bunch of cards. It's very fun. Uh, so if you're like a super hardcore person, you may or may not like it. I don't know how like the top end TCG players feel about it, but I think it has some potential to be like very good for casual players. I like it and the cards look really different and kind of cool. So before we open it up, I am going to do a giveaway. Every card we pull out of these two, I will be giving away. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What do you think about Rush Duel? Do you want to see it in the TCG? And what do you think about the new Dark Magician Girl? And also, as I mentioned earlier, Yugi Market sent me these. Shout out to Yugi Market. Go check them out and link in the description. They actually changed up my affiliate link so if you click the link down below you get five percent off rather than a free booster pack so now if you want to go in there and buy a bunch of stuff you can get five percent off and it's also an affiliate to me so i appreciate you guys doing that helps me get more product let's get to the opening all right so one more look at these it looks like this is for nine ages nine plus i i said that wrong before i think there are 15 packs that's what that means there there is 25th anniversary product uh more stuff i can't read so overrush pack two let's just get to it and see what's inside i don't know what kind of rarities are going to be in here or anything i have not opened this up i mean it's all rush duel so rush duel does have different rarities but the cards are so different i don't even know if i'm going to know what they're called but let's get to it okay what is this right here it's like you can what is that little is it like a, it's a hang it's like a hanger or something maybe i don't know what that is it's kind of a weird little indent okay get the packs out i'm not sure how many you get i'm not sure how hard this dark magician girl is to pull but yeah like see so you guys can see that i don't know what the point of that is but okay we'll do one pack at a time might as well do a little shuffle we're gonna have 30 total packs in this video because we have three boxes should be pretty fun i don't know how many cards are in each pack but I'm excited about this. I've not opened... I don't think I've ever opened Rush Duel, like, at all. Not even, like, one... Maybe, like, one pack somewhere. But this is pretty fun. New Dark Magician Girl. I'm sure you guys are excited about that. Let's see what we can get. Oh, it looks like we got something shiny back there right off the bat. So, I don't know if it's every pack or anything, but... I I'm not going to know these cards very well, because, as you can see, like, the attack and defense is a little bit different. You know, everything's a little different. They but basically, how Rush Duel works is they take the cards, they make different artworks, but I think the effects are still pretty similar. I don't know if they... I don't think they changed the effects just uh used in a different format basically with rush Duel, you draw five you can summon as many times as you can normal summon just normal summon i actually don't know because i played on duel links if it's a three space duel or not like do you have three monster zones if you play it regular is it five maybe but because it's in duel links it's probably only three but you can summon all your cards if you want and then uh like tributes like you can summon two tribute two like you can do whatever you want and then the next turn you just draw up to five so very cool this is a very shiny looking i guess that's a prismatic ultimate rare if i had to just guess it looks very good i don't know what that card is though but in that format it makes certain things a little bit different like if you you know sometimes it's hard to tribute summon some things but if you you can tribute summon because you can do so many summons it makes it a lot easier there's a meteor bee dragon that's pretty awesome cyber jar see like the alternate arts look wait it's not cyber jar this must be some sort of like cyber jar retrain or something because he's 2400 2400 that's very cool Oh, Rux is special. Okay, right past the... What is that? That actually looks really nice. I like this artwork. It feels different. It doesn't feel like Yu-Gi-Oh, but I like it. And then that looks... Oh, I... this looks like a Magnet Warrior to me. This looks like some sort of Magnet Warrior uh, retrain or something like that. But it looks beautiful. So another one. Do you get one of those every pack? I like that. If that's the case, let's keep going. There's only like four or five cards. I think five, maybe. Okay, we have the... Uh, look, not. We're past Valentine's Day. Too late for that. Don't know that one. It's going to be hard without, like, the same artworks to know exactly what everything is. Okay, let's see. Okay, another one. So it looks like you do get, a, like, a Prismatic Ultimate or whatever you want to call this rarity every single pack, which is pretty fun. That's a cool-looking card. I am... Oh, man, I really hope we get this in the TCG. It'd be so fun. This would be a lot more fun than Speed Duel, in my opinion. Uh, I like Speed Duel. I am not, like, a Speed Duel hater. I actually enjoy it. But just having the different artwork and, like... It's almost like opening a whole other thing, but it's still Yu-Gi-Oh! So it's, like... You get to open something different, but it's not, like, not Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what I mean? So it's a win-win. Okay, we got something big coming up. I like that they're in every pack. That's kind of fun. Uh, 
sometimes I don't like having like too many of the same rarity, but in something like where it's a whole nother card game, essentially, it's pretty fun. Oh, oh, almost messed it up. What is this? That is a monster. I don't know what it is. Okay. It is hard. It is a lot harder though. It'd be easier in English when I can actually read the cards uh, to figure it out. But so far, it's pretty pretty cool stuff and uh yeah i can't read the effects either so i can't really oh so this is like an alternate art this is the same card as earlier let me let me find it the card that i said i liked earlier wait that's got to be the same thing right this one's 900 zero this one's 10 star versus four star 2k zero i really like the uh the artwork on the head it looks really good okay i don't know what that is uh but cool meteor v dragon's the only card i've named so far <laughs> and oh wow this is the good one the little shatter foil shiny thing. Yeah, this is what you want right here. Dang, that's sweet. I don't know what this card is. It's a wolf. Is that a silver fang? Silver fang making an appearance? No, I don't think so. That's like a diamond prism. Mean, what would I call this? If I had to, because I don't know the names, what would I call this? I would call it either, it's probably shatter foil, but if I was to name it, I would call it like diamond rare or something, something like that. That sounds a lot better. Shatter foil, I mean, shattering never sounds good, right? You don't want to shatter anything diamond always sounds good you know what i mean so i feel like i oh is this a poly it's definitely not a poly because the text is super long but it's some sort of poly uh we've got a fork and a knife watch out are there only four cards i think there are only four. wait what is this oh man this is some kind of other rarity look at that oh that's like a quarter century right there but it's there's no quarter century so starlight no i didn't go i don't prismatic secret like ultra prism extra prismatic secret or something maybe wow there's a lot of rarities in here everything has a cool rarity this is fun i gotta speed it up i'm taking forever <laughs> i can't even guess the card so i don't know why i'm taking so long okay we've got more shiny we got some swords we got a little fluffy that was that was in that other one earlier we have the prismatic ultra i like that that is the worst rarity because i actually really like that rarity i think it looks good so like getting that every time is pretty cool matt what is that i, I don't know any of these cards Am I sure these aren't new cards? I'm not even 100% sure because these are OCG. Okay, that's definitely an Alpha the Magnet Warrior. That other one was some sort of Magnet Warrior. I knew it because a lot of these cards, I feel like I've never seen before, but that's also possible that in alternate art, they just look so much different. Labyrinth Wallet's definitely not a new card, whatever that thing is. And a that looks like the, the lady from Attack on Titan who, uh, you know, it uh, studies the Titans or whatever, whatever her name is. Yeah, no spoilers about what happens in that that show but i did finally finish it okay one of my favorite artworks is that card we have labyrinth wall and we have the shiny magic card of a dragon very nice mini packs left so we still hold our box by the way don't forget about that uh that card that awesome card the easter egg and we should open that for easter we have another shiny guy 800 1000 I know like literally like 5% of these cards. This is embarrassing. I should know more of these cards. I'm getting together, guys. I saw them fun though. These these cards look good. I like them. They're different. I remember when this first came out, I was like, I don't really like the look of them. And they've, they've grown on me. Definitely a magnet warrior. See those magnets? And ooh, a retrain of, is this? Okay, alpha, beta, gamma. This is gamma. Okay, yeah, because I was like, it's Valkyrie. I kept trying to say Valkyrian. That's definitely not it. That's the big one. A retrain of beta. I mean, uh, gamma, not beta. Beta is the, uh, is the, the yellow one. Okay, we have a little maid lady we have another per oh, oh 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 we got something they always look like normal monsters at the bottom which we don't even want a normal monster because we're looking for dark magician girl so we want a fact monster but i would be fun to open the pack that had blue eyes in it originally because the alternate art or the art for rush tool of blue eyes is really cool cool artwork again we got a trap we got magnet stuff and we got a blue a blue eyes bat signal going on here that's pretty sick the blue eyes signal the blue signal the i don't know the the booed signal the blue eyes like trying to say blue eyes white dragon it sounded weird but okay just continue on black skull dragon i know that card very nice we have a gamer gamer boy chair gamer chairs we got zero zero nice this would be the perfect time for a gamer chair sponsor which i don't have uh we have a because you know my chair is not a gamer chair and don't hit me up, Gamer Chair Sponsors. I'm not... This is my chair. Okay, I'm not getting rid of it. Okay, we have uh, a very shiny-looking lady. 
But speaking of sponsor, if you guys are interested in one of these boxes, don't forget to check out Yugi Market down below. You get 5% off if you use my link. I also get an affiliate for it. So go check it out. By the way, we got another box. This has been a fun opening so far. I'm enjoying this. Rush Duel is super cool. Uh, I hope we get it in the TCG. I'm very excited. What is this on the back right here? What do you think this is? 4, 16, 26, 36. Something about ratios maybe? Or is it? I'm not sure. I wish I could read it. Let me know in the comments what it says. So it looks like we got one of those shattery foil diamond things. One of the secret secret extra parallel starlight things and then the rest were the the really shiny ultimate rare thing so 15 pack that took us a long time to open 15 packs i was just having fun with it you know all right gamer chairs back at it gamers in the chat we don't have a chat because this is not live but you could Ooh, there he is beta he's got a little bigger head in this one i feel like his head's a little bit closer he's like hey I'm a Magna Warrior. Uh, okay, let's keep it. I don't remember what I was about to say. I was going to say something, but I got distracted by Beta, the Magna Warrior. There we go. We got Sur Superior. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Streaming on Twitch. Yeah, go follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. Go to oh, Gamma, the real one, not the retrain. We have all except maybe Alpha, I think. I did we get Alpha earlier, though? Maybe we did. But yeah, if you want to check out Pokerux, we're almost at 6,500 subs. I'm posting a new video. By the time you see this, might have posted a new video. Post one every one to two months because they take a long time to make, but they are pretty sick in my opinion. Go check them out if you like them. They're pretty long, full runs, usually either uh, some sort of challenge, Nuzlocke, Radical Red, stuff like that. We've been grinding on Radical Red. It's tough. We have uh, something there, and ooh, what is that? What is that symbol? I don't know that symbol. It's not the dark. It's not the Exodia symbol. That's all I can tell you. It's not the star. It's, it's like a, it's like a crown or something okay give us something big give us that dark magician girl let's go we want the the shattery foil one that'd be pretty amazing okay that's not the shattery foil it's not even dark magician girl where are you rush duel let's go we have yeah, magnet warrior something like that whatever that is we got a very cool dragon oh i think this one was in uh dueling slash rush duel i think because it was like a big dragon you could summon and that was pretty good because <laughs> they didn't have a lot of options in that Okay, it was basically like, there's a dragon deck, and if you just summoned a big dragon, it was basically the best way to win. Is your win condition, summon a seven-star dragon. Okay, made with fork and knife. We have, oh, uh, what is that? Is that sort of magnet too? A lot of magnets in this set. Very magnet driven. Very, uh, you could call this in a very attractive set. Huh? Get it? Because the magnets, they attract each other. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't know what this card is, but it looks good. Like the, It's kind of like the starlight on the edge, but then it's more subtle in the middle of the card, which is kind of interesting. All right, we're about halfway through this box. We got our cigarette prismatic thing. We have not gotten our diamond slash shatter foil rare. We have the labyrinth wall. We have a cyber jar thing. We have magnets attracting. Well, actually, wait, these are they're not opposites. Interesting. We have the, ooh, Valkyrion retrain, but he's weaker. He's 2,500. Interesting. But maybe he's a little bit easier to summon, unlike the uh, the big 3500. All right. Beast Skull Dragon, I'd love to get you in one of those prismatic foil secret things. We have a uh, secret rare is, I mean, ultimate rare coming up. We have, oh, ho, ho, Graceful Charity, some sort of Graceful Charity retrain. I don't think it's Graceful Charity because it's long text, but I guess Graceful Charity has longer text than like Pot of Greed because they have to explain, you know, discard two cards, stuff like that. That's that's a card I like. That's one of my favorites so far. Very cool cards. I'm liking this opening. It's, oh, here we go. Here's our big one. Maybe we'll save this one. Because that's our, I think, our big card. So I could have the Dark Magician Girl. There's four other packs. Let's open those, see if we get any uh, Prismatic Ulti. I don't even know if you can get the Dark Magician Girl in this ultimate rare thing. I've said thing a lot to describe stuff. Maybe I should say rarity, something that actually makes sense. All right, uh, let's keep it going. Let's see what else we can get. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. Make sure to subscribe if you are. If you want to see more Rush Duel, let me know. Hopefully the TCG will bring us some. Oh, look at that. 3300 Fusion three-headed so blue eyes shades of blue eyes ultimate let's just say that very cool two more packs and we'll reveal our last pack magic the double swords of valkyrian i don't know i'm just making up names let's do that the the secret fish of the ocean this is if i made up Yu-Gi-Oh names uh sunlight bird and two fairies in forest all right i like this i should have done this more often one more pack all right we're making up names for all these if i don't know them meteor be dragon you ruined the fun okay we got, I know, of course, two of the cards. Lame. We've got um, Fluffy the Shining Canine. Fluffy the Shining Canine. And 
Ooh, this is a good one. We've got, okay, what, what do we name this thing? This thing should be named like Dark Ness, like Loch Ness, but like dark and then Ness. Dark Ness, comma, Shadows of Nightmare. How cool would that name be? Way better than what the real name is. Whatever the real name is, Dark Dash Ness, or maybe Dark Space Ness, I don't know which one, comma, The Shadows of Nightmare. I mean, come on, that's an awesome name, okay? Oh, yeah, I just nailed that. Okay, now we have the last pack magic. This one can be named something about Easter. <laughs> this would be named like, no, this could be named, I can't name it Reese's. I really want to name it a Reese's egg. That, that's what I think of. This could be named the excellent, <laughs> excellent, or just something like that. I don't know. I can't think of a good one for that. We'll come, oh, wait, is it next? No, it's not next. Okay. We've got, uh, oh, this guy looks like, he could have a good name, but I'll think of it later. Okay, last pack. Oh, what is this card? Is that Twister with an alternate art? Is that just Twister, like regular old Twister? This card looks amazing. This feels like a magic, it's like full arts. They actually did like, wow. They actually did like the magic style where it goes, you know, uh, borderless, I think is what they call it, which there are some borders here, but they did no borders on like the, edge of the artwork that looks so good all right that's not dark magician girl but i love that that looks so amazing all right we need to see more rush rule that's for sure if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe also check out the affiliate link down below if you want to grab some of these yourself or any other ocg products a lot of them will be available on yugi market oh and you'll get five percent off as well Shout out to Toe and Fo Show, Puffet Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Jr. Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.